used to say, birds of a feather flock together. If you run around with losers, you will end up a loser. It's necessary to get the losers out of your life if you want to live your dream. It's necessary to know that everybody won't see it, that everybody won't join you, that everybody won't have the vision. It's necessary to know that a lot of people want to complain, but they don't want to do anything to change their situation. It's necessary to know that you're an uncommon breed, you know. You have to know within yourself that I can do this, even if no one else sees it for me. I can see it for myself, and that's necessary. Amongst a very long list of poems, one of my favorites happens to be Harlem by Langston Hughes, and it reads, What happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun, or fester like a sore and then run? Does it stink like rotten meat, or crust and sugar over like a syrupy sweet? Maybe it just sags like a heavy load, or does it explode? See, I've got a vision. You ever have one? I'm talking about a vision so big you can't sleep, you forget to eat. A vision so big that it gives you strength when you're weak. See, for as far back as I can remember, I've had this vision. A 9 to 5 just wouldn't fit me. I was born to be a CEO, not an employee. I was born to be great. No, scratch that. Phenomenal. This here vision isn't one to be played with. Why? Because this vision is mine. Three words, I work hard. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. All that extra stuff, that's not me. I'm about my work, my business, my friends, my family. I have a good time when I'm supposed to, but other than that, I ain't in all the extra drama. Why do I do this? Anything lost can be found again except for time wasted. A vision without action is merely a dream. Action. It's the grind. It's the hustle. It's the persistence. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you will be successful. My work attempts to push limits. It's aimed to display my work in a way that is exclusive, because see, to be privileged to create is to be privileged to give life to a mere idea. My process is unique. I invest the time necessary to put forth a product that will stand out amongst others, stand the test of time, and captivate and rely on a clear message. I aim to deliver what I or someone else may see mentally in a tangible form. Regardless of clientele, my artistic goal remains invariable. I strive to create a product so influential that my work may see ranges of this world that I may never have the opportunity to physically see. I need